We are here at Delamar Community by Pulte Homes. We're going to check out three models. First, the Delano. Next would be the Egan. And far down is going to be the White Pine. There are a total of four different floor plans. We're just going to view three of them. Starting with the Delano, it is 3,158 square feet. You can either do four or five bedroom, uh, two and a half up to four and a half bath, two car garage. Starting from $606,990. Let's go and check it out. All right, immediately we got the staircase uh, to the second floor, got the powder room to the left. Got a nice wide foyer here. I will say this was one of my favorite floor plans just because of how the gathering room, the cafe, kitchen, and den all mesh together. All right, here we got a closet right by the front door and the powder room. We have the uh, water efficient elongated style toilets with the Moen Chateau faucets in chrome. The stairs to the second floor. Then we have our Harry Potter closet storage. I've seen some people do some really cool things with these rooms, like a little gaming room or tiny little bar area. If you like open floor plan, this is the plan for you. The cafe area is about 13 by 13. Gather room in the left corner is about 16 foot by 19 foot 6 inches. And then the den is in the far right corner. Aesthetically pleasing fireplace. Double sliding doors. And if you wanted to, you can put a pool. It's got a good sized backyard. Some of the kitchen features are Whirlpool appliances, all of them. You got the handcrafted Sinclair Birch cabinetry with the 36 inch uppers. Pre-plumbed for ice maker, uh, Moen garage disposal, functional kitchen island. You can get the uh, granite slab countertops with six inch backsplash in a choice of two colors. Uh, stainless steel under mount, uh, kitchen sink with Moen method pull out faucet, LED lighting. As you can see, the cabinets didn't soft close on me. And back here we have the laundry room. Uh, to the right is the two-car garage. Those cabinets are an option. And there's your undermount sink. Nice walk-in pantry with shelving. And back here you have your den, or if you wanted to add a fifth bedroom. And this walk-in closet, you can either make it a pocket office on the other side that's connected to the gathering room, or you can make it a walk-in closet for the bedroom. Again with the elongated toilets, got the shower tub combo. All right, let's make our way to the second floor. Um, I wanted to add that the uh, floor ceiling height is nine foot um, and you get the vinyl flooring in the baths and the laundry. You also get the 12 by 12 ceramic tile at the entryway and kitchen. This is Shaw carpeting, by the way, which is extremely durable and, and pretty stylish. All right, uh, straight ahead, we have the gaming room slash loft, whatever you want it to be. We have some nice big windows, which bring plenty of lighting on the second floor. This loft can actually be converted into a fourth bedroom if you needed it. I found the hallway to be Pretty wide, actually. All right, here we have the second bathroom. 
You can see it has the uh, dual sinks, it's got the shower tub combo. Here's another bedroom. This one sits about 14 foot, three inches by 11 foot, six inches. No walk-in closet. And here we have a little storage space. Uh, this ran approximately 10 by five, which is pretty big. A closet shelves. Here we have another bedroom which is about 12 foot 6 inches by 11 foot 3 inches. This one does not have a walk-in closet either. Finally, the owner's suite, which is about 18 foot 4 inches by 13 foot 9 inches. and does have its own thermostat in the bedroom. The owner's bathroom actually comes with the cultured marble dual vanity countertop. And you see the shower in the back has a seat and you have the option to put a, <coughs> a rain shower head if you wanted to. Got the huge, huge walk-in closet. Check that out. Well, that pretty much sums it up for this bad boy. Again, this is the Delano floor plan model. It starts from 606,000. You can do either four or five bedroom, two and a half up to four and a half bath, two car garage, and it is 3,158 square feet. Next floor plan we're gonna view is called the Egan. Starting at 602,000, you can either do four to six bedroom, two and a half up to four and a half bath, two car garage, and it's 3,097 plus square feet. This is the only plan available for a quick move in where the builder's uh, incentive is to offer uh, below 5%, 4.99%, I believe, for a 30 year fixed rate. I believe you have to move in by March. If you'd like to know more about that, I do have a separate video. Uh, it's under the short videos on YouTube or you can check out my TikTok. And immediately we've got this long hallway here. We've got a flex room over there to the right and then the gathering room all the way down. Uh, to the right here, we can either have this as a living room or you can turn it into a suite as you see here. So totally up to you and your living situation. This is a great room. It's right by the door. If you have someone that, uh, you know, like an in-law or something like that, or a teenager, you won't hear them come in or leave. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but here you have it. Here we have a flex room, which is about 10 foot, eight inches by 10 foot, one inch. And we have your gathering room, nice fireplace. Got the cafe right in the middle and your kitchen. We're gonna make our way to the left over here by the two car garage. This is where you're gonna find the laundry room and uh, powder room and your Harry Potter storage area, which is located in the powder room. So garage right there. Again, with the Sinclair Birch cabinetry with the 36 inch uppers. And you do have a choice of two colors on the granite. Um, how do you feel about this birch? Do you like it or don't you? I like it or would you rather see, you know, the white cabinets and the gray, which we see that in a lot of 
a lot of new homes, so this is different. It's nice. Again, with the Whirlpool appliances. I am a huge fan of having a window right where the sink is at. Let's go make our way upstairs. Okay, immediately at the top of the stairs, we have the game room, which is about 13 foot, one inch by 17 foot, seven inches. We also have a balcony right in the gaming room, so that's nice. Down the hall to the right, we have the other three bedrooms with the other bath, with the owner's suite being separate. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is connected to the gaming room. So, you know, if they're loud in the gaming room, well, guess what? And you're hanging out in the uh, bedroom, you kind of hear it. And here we have a little owner's retreat, which I think is nice. Adds a nice little touch to the primary suite. And here we have the owner's bath. Um, to the right, we have the nice size walk-in closet. Two sinks and the shower. And that rain shower head is an option. make our way down the hall here we have the other th last three bedrooms Got a little storage with some shel shelving there and we have bedroom bedroom bathroom and bedroom two of these bedrooms have walk-in closet but it's the one in the middle that does not so this one does so this bedroom is going to be about 10 foot one inch by 13 foot three inches This is the bedroom that does not have the walk-in closet. It makes a difference, but you know, it's always a smaller child tucked away in the corner. No walk-in closet, doesn't need one yet. Uh, this bedroom is about 11 foot 6 inches by 12 foot 10 inches. And here we have the full bath, two sinks, shower tub combo. <clears throat> nice window there and it's the last bedroom it does have a walk-in closet and this one is about 12 foot by 11 foot 4 inches And that wraps it up for this plan. Again, it starts from 602,000. This is the Egan, uh, anywhere from four to six bedroom, two and a half to four and a half bath, two car garage, 3,097 plus square feet. This is the only plan in this community where they're gonna have a quick move in by March. And if you're looking for a quick move in, uh, they're incentivizing below 5% as an interest rate. So I would definitely take advantage of that. Uh, the communities and what they offer and what plans are different. So um, it's just gonna be a different home depending on what they have going up, what they have being built. So you can possibly get that interest rate, which you will not find at this very moment. Last but not least, this is the White Pine floor plan. It starts from 753,000, 
somewhere between four and five bedroom, two and a half to four and a half bath, three car garage, and it is 4,220 plus square foot. Let's go check it out. Upon entry, we can either make our way down or we can go up a little bit. Let's see, gathering room there. But let's make our way down. Let's go check that out first. This is huge. I, it's about 35 foot by 20 foot 2 inches. Check that out. Uh, to the right, we have, I think it's the garage. It's a three car garage. I uh, got a little Harry Potter room there, a little bit of storage. Now you have the option to make this one huge room. They turned this into like a little apartment with a bedroom, but the wall to my right uh, does not have to be there. It's gonna be just one big, huge gaming room. So that wall straight ahead does not have to be there. There is a bedroom with a full bath right behind there, and that's connected to the backyard. This is definitely space that you can rent out if you uh, purchase this home whomever you rent out this room to has you know their own little living quarters except for it doesn't have a kitchen Perfect for the older teenage kid that wants their space or, you know, if your child's in their early 20s. I know it's a, it's a hard life out there for these guys to try to make it into this world. So is it me or are the kids sticking around home just a little bit longer these days? I play guitar, so I definitely like how they dress this home up. So... <laughs> If I accidentally fix our frame on a guitar, it's uh, my apologies. Here we have the gathering room, 26 by 18, and I've got a nice size balcony. It actually takes up the entire second floor, so it's nice. This model home in particular faces east, so that's where you're gonna see your sunrise. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I think the sun pops up right about there. And here we have the cafe, which is about 13 foot, 10 inches by 22 foot, four inches. Got your kitchen. Again, with the all whirlpool appliances, the Sinclair birch cabinetry. So it's all the same pretty much all across the board. Walk-in pantry. A little bit about the area where this community is at. It's called Southern Highlands. It, it is nestled against the scenic backdrop of Southern Nevada's mountains. This welcoming community offers a serene lifestyle with beautiful parks, golf courses, and proximity to the Las Vegas Strip. It's actually a perfect blend of comfort and convenience. I'm actually a fan of Southern Highlands. Um, I helped my mom buy a townhome there. Um, it's different than North Vegas, obviously. You know, you're going to get more bang for your buck in the northern neighborhoods of Las Vegas. Um, 
it is nice out there. There's people that live out there, friends that I know that love it out there. So uh, this particular, the south side of Las Vegas is a little bit more in square foot as far as price. And here we have the powder room and laundry room. The sink is optional. All right, let's make our way to the third floor where all the bedrooms or the rest of the bedrooms are at. And this home actually has a rooftop deck that we can go up to on the left side there. It is a optional upgrade, so keep that in mind. But it is nice. I mean, you would be spending a few months up there. But for the most part, Vegas is hot, so unless you had some kind of shading or some... Uh, misters or something like that but <laughs> you know it's a good place to chill get out and first bedroom to the left is the owner suite it's about 14 foot 8 inches by 19 foot 6 inches plenty of closet All right, let's make our way over here to the left where we're gonna have bedrooms two, three, and four. And we actually have two sets of bathrooms here, one to my right and here's one to my left straight ahead. Um, you know, if you got siblings that like to fight <laughs> over who's gonna take a shower first, well, you got two, so that definitely helps. So that can be a closet too as well, so um, I would probably go with the extra bathroom. Again, got two sinks. Shower tub combo, elongated toilet. This is considered bedroom four, which is about 12 foot nine inches by 12 foot nine inches. Nice walk in closet there. Beautiful view, nice Fender guitar that I felt like playing. Here we have bedroom three, which is a little bit bigger than bedroom four. This one's 13 foot six inches by 12 foot nine inches. Again, has a walk-in closet, so that's always good. And bedroom two, which is gonna be the smaller out of the three in this area. This bedroom is about 11 foot 6 inches by 10 foot 6 inches. Does not have a walk-in closet, so. And last but not least, let's go on the rooftop deck. Let's see what this is all about. Well, here you have it. Check out this view. It's practically a 360 degree view, north, south, east, west, and everything in between. Watch the sunrise, sunset. Check out the fireworks on the strip, all the above. World famous Las Vegas Strip is down that area. And that 
wraps it up for this floor plan, which is called White Pine. Starting from 753,000, four to five bed, two and a half to four and a half bath, three car garage, 4,220 plus square feet. So here's the deal. You know, all this new construction, they have great incentives right now. You know, the market, it shifts quickly. Uh, if you're looking to buy, uh, you know, these, these new construction incentives, they're not gonna last forever. You know, you can get below, if you can get below 5% in this market, that is phenomenal. I mean, if you can get 4.99, take advantage of it. Um, you know, if you'd like to learn more about these uh, new construction homes and, and all their incentives, please reach out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please follow, like, share, all the above. It helps me get out there and create these videos for you. If you have your eye in a certain community too as well, uh, let me know. I'll be more than happy to make a video for you. Have a great day. I look forward to meeting you.